I'm Nisa Khan, and my background includes mathematics, physics, and electrical engineering. I'm well known for my work on LED lighting. Followers of my work often ask me to create some video lectures on lighting because there is so much misunderstanding about it. Many of us know that LED lighting has caused problems for many people around the world. The mainstream media hasn't acknowledged this. From Britain, Australia, India, Canada, and the United States, so many people have reached out to me about problems caused by LED lighting. It hasn't been easy to publish my new scientific work on lighting in mainstream academic and industry circles. Previously, I had never encountered problems in publishing. However, that was when my work was marginally new and not that revolutionary, stemming from academia and my early career at the famous Bell Labs. Why was my new research with far more depth than supporting scientific evidence being rejected? I couldn't understand such resistance to publishing my papers about the technical problems around LED lighting. The publishers' objections were completely invalid. How could they fail to understand even basic scientific principles? It really puzzled me. At the end of this presentation, you can find the reference to these objections and my counterarguments. The work wasn't rejected once, but nearly 20 times. I came to the following conclusions. First, the mainstream is against publishing anything negative about LED lighting. Second, the mainstream oddly ignores fundamental physics and mathematics around light, or it could be both. I had noted the same fundamental problems in other areas of physics and electrical engineering, like quantum mechanics and astrophysics, also in wireless communication. I understand the nature of those problems, so I believe that it is both. Unfortunately, most scientists and engineers operating in these fields are simply unaware of fundamental physics and mathematics. Further, the mainstream media is against publishing science that shows how popularized technologies are harming the public. It is now time to address these issues in a few basic video lectures, talking about some fundamental aspects of physics and mathematics and what they mean for lighting and our health. Today is the first of my short lectures, which will be followed by other lectures with some interesting experiments and demonstrations. The first lecture is on why geometric specification matters for all physics problems. Quantities that we can measure or calculate, such as radiation in space, or the brilliance of a light source, or the hue of a light source cannot be collapsed down to a single geometric point. This type of geometric specification is often wrong. In science, we explain physical phenomena by either directly observing something with our eyes or observe something by means of telescope, microscope, MRI, or other such apparatus and use some logical conclusions with what we observe. For example, why is the sky blue? Or better yet, why is the ocean blue? To watch the rest of the video lecture, please visit the following site. In the rest of the video lecture, you will learn the following. What is valid calculus and how it can be used to calculate light radiation in 3D living space? why LED headlights produce tremendous blinding glare, and finally, what needs to be done to accurately measure LED radiation strength. 